Oh, no, 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 no. No. Guys, guys. Whoa. That's one very depressed hand. All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, believe it or not, there are people in this world who fake disorders for views. And these are the kind of people that go online, they type in the symptoms of Tourette's, and then they come on TikTok and start doing... Tourette's. So the thing is with mental disorders these days, they're very quirky, all right? If you have depression, you're pretty cool. You know, if you have DID, you're pretty swell. You know, here's one of the people that uh, very well known for faking a disorder on TikTok. Uh, they're very well known for faking having Tourette's. And in this video, she actually tries to mail herself to Canada. Because that's what people with Tourette's do. They, they try to mail themselves across the country. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Now just by looking at that quickly, she would seem like she does have Tourette's, but there's hundreds of videos of her out there that's proof that she doesn't have it. You know, in her brain, she's sitting there and you can see her thinking like, okay, I'll move my hand next as Tourette's, okay, I'm gonna move it. <laughs> you know, it's not cool really, is it? You know, people with Tourette's, they can't actually control their tics. You know, they, they can't control them. This person that she filmed a TikTok recording a compilation of her tics. You know, it was a full-on compilation of all her tics she has. She displayed all of them. I mean, that, that's a superpower right there. Send me to Canada! <laughs> send me to Canada. <laughs> How about I send you to the doctor's office and he can diagnose you as nothing wrong with you? Or perhaps he'll tell you that you have less IQ than my pet rock. We're not too sure. <laughs> so I'm shooting a gun now. Shooting a gun inside the bag. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, come on. Really? And now she's having some sort of muscle spasm. And from the looks of it, she's shaking a bag of crystal meth. It's probably the reason why you're having so many spasms. Let me let you in on a secret, right? You stop doing crystal meth, you stop having major freakouts. Right? Write that down, because, you know, you're gonna need that, right? And you know, a lot of people are using TikTok these days to diagnose themselves. For example, okay, if you can't blink to a certain beat on TikTok, it means you have ADHD. You know, don't trust the doctors out there. Trust TikTok. It's the only place you're ever going to get diagnosed correctly. If you can blink on the beat, you have ADHD. <laughs> if you can do a basic human function to a rhythmic beat, you've got ADHD. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fella. You've got ADHD. And, you know, I'm sure we've all made the exception, you know, of trying to self-diagnose ourselves, you know, by going on Google and asking Google, you know, oh my God. Why couldn't I do this simple task right away? Why was I procrastinating? I've got to ask Google. Why am I procrastinating? Oh my God, I knew it. I'm bipolar. <sighs> yes. You know, and that's how a lot of people are taking it these days. A lot of people are just searching on Google about their symptoms and it comes up saying they have OCD or bipolar or something and they just self-diagnose themselves and hop on TikTok and share it with the world. Like, according to a lot of kids on TikTok, mental disorders are the new aesthetic of life. There has to be something wrong with everybody or you're, or you're not in the trend. And it's kind of sad because it takes away from the people who actually do have mental disorders and actually struggle really bad with it. And you got these kids on TikTok hopping on and you know, doing the woe, saying they have ADHD. I mean, look at this next person. They are the Bible of mental disorders. Mood swings, bipolar, ADHD, having energy, acting in different situations, multiple personality disorder, insomnia, staying up till 4 a.m. on your phone. If you do that, got bipolar disorder. Just to let you know, if you're only phone at 4 a.m., you go to doctor's office. Time for a lobotomy. And what was that other one? What was that other one that I said? Acting different in different situations. Damn. <laughs> I've never done that before. Because, you know, I act the same in every situation. These people really don't get it, do they? They just don't get it. This is just... Everyone acts different in every situation. You can't just be the same 24-7. And having energy. As opposed to everyone else on Earth. Having no energy whatsoever every day. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. A Curtis Price video was just released. Are you having energy? Oh my god. The prophecy is true. A human has energy. You see everyone, anything that anybody does these days, it could be the most natural thing ever. Like putting a, a pint of milk in the right place in the fridge. You've got OCD. Maybe you're just nervous to speak to a girl. Maybe you lack riz. Well, 
just to let you know, you have crippling anxiety. <laughs> now, there's also this thing going on on TikTok where if you listen to a certain sound, it like triggers your ADHD in full and it comes out like some sort of demon inside you. Like, that's actually real. It's, it's on TikTok. A TikTok sound will trigger everything that's wrong with you and you'll have uncontrollable muscle spasms because of a sound on TikTok. It's real. Right, well, my mate's got ADHD, and I've never seen him react like that. I mean, the comparison to his happiness from listening to that song is like having a thousand nuts in one second. <laughs> Sounds absolutely amazing. What is this all about? What's all this about? Because of a song on TikTok? Because of a sound? Oh, come on now, come on. Do me a favour, right? Turn off the internet. Turn the router off. Go to bed, and yeah, just go to bed. I wanted to come up with something better than that. I knew you can see someone who actually has ADHD, blind reacting, and looks like the most normal person ever. Of course, the person with the quirky hair is completely exaggerated for views. For some reason, all these people on you that so-called have BPD, DID, anxiety, depression, all these symptoms, for some reason, they're dressed quirky ginger hair with red little tips on it, you know, all black makeup, purple and green hair. What's all that about? Oh yeah, you a person with Tourette's, by the way. Um, let's just blind react to this. Okay. Whoop, they're like having a muscle spasm. Well, what's all that about? What's all that about? Oh my god, it's a zombie arm. Oh, they, they just died. They just passed away and died from a Tourette's attack. Yeah, sounds about right. No one does that, you know, that has Tourette's. I don't know too much about it, but I know enough to know that no one's gonna, you know, stop jerking off like a spazzly and then stiff and just collapse like a useless carcass. I definitely believe people can faint from a Tourette's attack, but that wasn't a faint. That was clearly just a, a purpose fall. So it's one of these ones again where they, they react to a sound and uh, this person actually starts breaking down because uh, of their anxiety. <laughs> If you have anxiety, don't listen to this in three times speed, please. What? <laughs> and the way that she begged, if you have anxiety, please don't listen to this. If you have anxiety, you should be afraid of TikTok, okay? Because they really do bring out the emotions, you know? Not family members dying, or being broken up with, or going bankrupt. <laughs> no, it's a TikTok sound, alright? That's the worst thing that can happen. Clearly looked like some parent just died the way she was crying. And again, you've got someone with actual severe depression anxiety looking like a normal person. That's because this is what it's actually like to have it. You don't go online and show everyone what you have. In fact, the people with the worst disorders just look like normal people. You can never guess that they have anything. You know what I mean? That's, that's the thing with these people, like... <laughs> they're so, like, just completely unhinged. It's just hilarious at this point. And now moving on to the segment of uh, TikTok filters can actually detect if you have depression. Uh, according to this famous TikTok here, uh, if you can't pass 70 on the TikTok smiley face filter, uh, you're depressed. You couldn't get past 70? So it means you're depressed because of a TikTok filter. Well, I couldn't get past 10, so I must be chronically depressed. Now, use a TikTok demonstrating DID. If you don't know, it's when people have multiple personalities. So they have like alters. So they might have a bloke called Jeff, Craig, Diane, and they all come forward at different times and you don't know when they're coming forward. This person has given us the privilege of showing all of their alters within a TikTok. My days. It's like a character selection menu. <laughs> the one in the back there is wearing a Batman outfit. Cool, it must be super, some sort of superhero. This next one's brilliant. It's the same kind of thing, except they're actually, you know, talking in this one. So let's take check it out. My name's JD, I'm the host of the system. Hey, I'm Kenny. Hi, Kenny. I'm one of the main protectors. The name is kind of self-explanatory. Hi, my name is Junko, and I'm a persecutor in the system. Hi, I'm Tweak. 
My role is an anxiety holder. I'm Damien. I'm a demon. It's actually pretty common for systems to have altars that are of a supernatural species. Whoa! This dude has a demon in his altar. Look at that, supernatural! Oh my days. First of all, I love how all the altars kind of look like video game characters. You know, I mean, look at this dude. He's a demon. He's wearing some sort of red blazer. Kind of looks like something that would be an overwatch. And the anxiety holder, you got to demonstrate how stressed you are. So he messes all his hair up. Because if you've got messed up hair, it shows, you know, you've, you've got chronic anxiety. I mean, that's brilliant, don't you think? So going off topic quickly, let's talk about reality shifting. Um, this person apparently shifted and went to Hogwarts. Yeah. Well, as you guys know, when I shifted the first time, I stayed there for three whole years. First time shifting, they went to Hogwarts. For three years. <laughs> what were you doing for three years? What was the body doing in that time? Well, you left for three years? And tried to have sex with Draco Malfoy. Being at Hogwarts is amazing, but when you're there to study and to actually, you know, live the student life, it's good to have a break sometimes. I tell you what, right, I got a bad idea. Why don't you live in this reality and study in this one? rather than going to some sort of magic realm where you're learning to become a wizard when nothing actually matters. I mean, that's pretty spot on, I'd say. I mean, 100%, if you have an anxiety trigger, you definitely are going to start giving head. 100%. Couldn't agree more. Now, this one has to be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. This dude's on live, basically. And, um, you know, he's sitting there and he's saying that something is trying to take over his body. Some sort of demon or some sort of evil altar. Check this out. No, 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 no. No. Guys, guys, I need you to spam Rosie Chill, Rosie Chill. It's not completely insane, right? Because spamming, you know, Rosie Chill, it's going to make the altar go away. And, you know, when the evil one comes through, you expect him just to walk away from the camera and do some evil shit or something. Fucking steal an old lady's bag or something. But instead, he tells the chat to comment evil things. Oh my days, this dude is the final boss. I need you to tell Razzy, don't ya? If you want me to take over this vessel, I need you to spam Razzy, don't ya? And spam your blackest hearts all over. What is that? Some sort of, I don't know what the hell that is, but it's scary quite terrified to be honest i don't really get why people are doing these kind of things Her blackest hearts all over <laughs> but then he turns into some sort of two-month-year-old fetus definitely not the most insane thing i've seen this week definitely not going on the internet for a while after this but i know this is a bit of a different video guys but you know let me know what you thought down in the comments i'm sorry if i wasn't too you know excited and full-on in this video I'm outside, you know, I don't want people to think I've got some sort of mental disorder. But with that said, guys, comment down below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.